With Twitch's local sub pricing being rolled out throughout Europe and PayPal once again increasing the cut that they are taking from donations, content creators are looking for other ways that their community can support them. Looking at alternative sites such as Patreon, Fanhouse, etc, there seems to be one rising star that is attracting a handful of creators and that's Kofi. A quick reminder, if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button down below and why not subscribe while you're down there. My sub ratio is horrific at the moment and I'd like to make a dent in it at least. Essentially, Kofi is a virtual tip jar, much like Stream Elements or Stream Labs. It's a way for community members to directly support their favourite content creators through donations, subscriptions and depending on what content you produce, commissions. They even have Discord integration. Brilliant. As it's designed for content creators, they have added in functionality for pop-ups and live streams, much like Stream Elements and Stream Labs already have, and that's what we're going to look at right now. Adding Kofi alerts to your live stream is super easy to do. Once you've got your Kofi page set up and linked to your PayPal account, you will be eligible to receive tips. Assuming you've done all that, you can head over to the Stream Alerts page located on the left of your screen or in that top right menu. If you've added alerts to your live stream before, you'll know how simple the process is. First off, we'll copy the browser source URL from the top of the page, head over to OBS, create a new browser source in the scene where you want the alerts to show up, and paste that URL that you copied into the top dialog box. Set your width and height to your stream size, mine here is 1920 by 1080 and one extra tip, if you check the control audio via OBS checkbox, you can control the volume of the alerts directly within OBS. There is however one downside to Kofi alerts at the moment. As you can see from the stream alerts page, the customization options are fairly limited to what the call to action text says and the duration, contents and colour of the alerts. The slightest choice that you do have however is the sound effect, so go wild. Hopefully in the future they're able to provide a bit more customization which would allow creators to bring these alerts in line with their current alert themes but they do have a feedback page so go and give them your ideas. A few tips from me, if you want to hide the permanent coffee logo from your stream you can drag the browser source just down below your canvas on OBS and it will hide that text and then pop up when somebody donates. If you set the height of the browser source to 125 the alert sits really nicely on top of the existing call to action and finally, if you want that slide up animation to be faster, then you just have to increase the height of your browser source. And that's all for this one. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.